Hi everyone and welcome back. Today's video is how to assemble your leapfrog sizzling barbecue grill. And if you stay to the end of the video, I give you full details of basically the entire owner's manual and how to use this toy. Hello, my name's Sandy and this is Sandy Says. If you're new, please hit the subscribe button down below. To start below. off with, you should have six pieces that need to be assembled together, two sets of wheels, this is the body, the handlebar, the cover to the body, and then this is the actual grill. Um, and the first instructions, which I am not showing you, is to <clears throat> install two AA batteries on the underside of the grill. Uh, the instructions, it mentions inserting the lid on the top of the grill. Mine came already assembled, so that's probably not something you will need to do. Maybe it's an old instruction or something. Um, but the next step would be to take your orange handle and insert that into the grill. Taking your orange handle and inserting it into the top of the grill, and you are just going to push it down in till it snaps. Next, you are going to take the blue storage area, set that down on the ground, and then take the top of the grill and you're going to snap the two together. The easiest way to snap these pieces together is to put the grill upside down and then you're going to take the wide part of the blue piece and you're just going to kind of wiggle it around until you get it in there and then push straight down and you'll hear it click in both places. Next, you're going to want to install the lid of the storage unit and that just clips onto this piece right here. So to do that, it helps if you lay it flat and then just push it in. The last step is assembling the wheels. Again, it helps if the grill is upside down and these can go either way so you can't really mess them up. Again, you just put them on and then click and they click straight down. Now that we have the toy assembled, I am gonna go over a few things in the instruction manual just so you have them. As I mentioned before, your battery compartment is underneath on the left side. If you stand your grill up, open the lid on the top left is your volume button and you have off, low. It's a great day for grilling. We're cooking and, a fun two day with numbers and colors we play so many. And a high setting. Um, straight above that is your mode setting, so you have um, learning numbers, foods, and songs. Simply slide it down. Let's grill some veggies and meats. That's Sizzle songs. Food, turn up the heat to and then all the way back Let's up to numbers. numbers and colors. Closed. Your grill should have come with nine pieces of food, four utensils, a thing of ketchup, and two plates. And then you can put any of these foods on the skewer and it will tell you about them. So I just put the mushrooms on and let's see what it says. It's a great day for grilling. We're cooking a fun two day. On the front left, you have a 1 to 10 temperature, temperature dial. Um, this obviously can help your kid learn numbers from 1 to 10 when it's on the number setting. When it is on music mode, each dial will play a different tune. If you press the actual grill with a utensil or with your hand, um, it will do fun flames and sizzling sounds as the grill lights up. On the front, there is a red star. When the grill is in learn mode, um, 
you can it will tell you what the barbecue wants to cook cook next and then the child can follow along put something blue on the skewer so you would put fish on the skewer perfect let's turn the heat level to nine for a quick char When the grill is in activity mode um, and you push the star button, you will hear fun phrases and sounds, sing-along songs, and a rhyme about food on a skewer. Fish dish. Oh, I wish. Barbecue. It's what I really love to do. Grab a plate. Stand in line. Smells so yummy, it's time to grab some barbecue. And last thing is the heat knob on the right. Um, this says that you just turn the clicking dial to practice fine motor skills and to hear a clicking sound. So this doesn't sing or do anything. It just literally just makes that sound. And then you can store all of your food down here on the inside. When you lose a sippy cup of milk in your house somewhere, be sure to check this little compartment. I would just like to make a disclaimer that this video is not intended for children and it is meant to be a guide for parents.